Hey everybody, it's Dick Ziggin, your permanently unelected mayor of Coney Island, keeping my promise to make a weekly State of Coney Island address all through the pandemic. Today, we're filming right now on Sunday, June 28th, Pride Day, 50th anniversary of Stonewall. Happy Pride, everybody. Um, Coney Island is a wonderful community. It, Coney Island USA, the not-for-profit I founded and I'm artistic director of, we have a lot of fans, a lot of performers from the LGBTQ community at the Freak Show. Well, of course we do. However, in Coney Island, in the projects, there's another LGBTQ community, mostly people of color. So today, let's try unity. Let's introduce they to them. Today, I'm going to come out as BCTHI. BCTHI stands for Blue Collar Thespian Heterosexual Intellectual. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but if you rearrange the letters, it does spell bitch. Um, so today, I'm not going to talk much. I need to learn because I'm not exactly one of you. I'm going to be asking people to self-identify and party and dance. But before we get that, before we go outside, here's a breaking news. Um, the beaches in New York City will reopen for swimming July 1st. New York State Beach Guideline goers should visit only with members of your immediate household. Maintain six feet of distance from others while swimming and on the beach and on the boardwalk. Keep your beach blankets and chairs at least 10 feet apart from others. Wear a mask when unable to maintain social distance and refrain from group activities. You got that? You could go swimming, you could come here. Not today. Today we're going to go celebrate Pride in Coney Island. So come on. Coney Island. I'm not, I'm not in uniform, but my son will be in uniform later on at 3 p.m. Okay. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, first of all, happy Pride. Yes. Happy Pride Day. Happy Pride Day. And what exactly are you throwing uh, here today on the Bowery right around the corner from Coney Island, USA? Tell me about Coney Island Dancers. Oh, Coney Island Dancers is an institution here in um, Coney Island. Um, we do free beach parties, house music, disco parties. And with the pandemic going on, I got the approval through the assemblywoman and the six soul precinct, the little blessings. And we're doing social distancing events here. In other words, what you, kind of events? Well, you play the music. We play the music. Music, do people dance? They do a two or three steps. If it gets out of hand, I'll take a commercial break and cut off for an hour because we can't have a fourth break free fall out here. But people do come here and listen to the music now. And this is the only show in town. I mean, everybody is closed. Um, they're talking about August 22nd, and it is what it is. But you know what? Thank you so much. So today is Pride Day, so I'm going to ask you a question. Um, Coney Island is a wonderful community we live in, too. Uh, two weeks ago, I went to the Black Lives Matter march, and they were chanting this wonderful chant, um, less strangers, more neighbors. Amen. So within the LGBTQ community of Coney Island, I know we have a lot of freaks, Caucasian freaks at the sideshow. Yes, you do. <laughs> in the projects, in the West End, is there a gay, lesbian, queer, transgender community? Well, let me say something. The old Coney Island, back in the days with the warriors and the, the gangs here, you couldn't have any of that stuff in this community. However, the Coney Island Dancers supports the gay community here. 
I am the founder of, the, of all the queens in New York City. So every city in New York is looking for me, and that's what I do. I represent the gay community in Coney Island and the freaks. And Did you used to dance in a club in Manhattan at one time? That is correct. What I, was that club? House. I, I, I am a baby from the Paradise Garage. So the only reason why anybody can bring a sound system to the boardwalk, but what I do is I do theatrics. Everything's got to be theater with me. And I learned that from the Paradise Garage. Right here. So I started with that. And I'm going to end with that. <laughs> the Coney Island dancers. So um, I want to learn today. Um, so my basic question is to ask everybody to self-identify. Now me, I'm coming out today is B-C-T-H-I. Blue collar, thespian, that means a person who does theater, blue collar, thespian, heterosexual, intellectual. Wow. But if you move the letters around, it does spell bitch. <laughs> I'm Miss Bitch okay. in Coney Island. And did I have some type of influence on you? Of uh, course. I would call. Costuming, perhaps? I'll tell you exactly how it happened. I had a, uh, an enchanting moment when they had the bridge that they took down. I was coming over the bridge and I was with my friend there. I said, look, look, look at this, look. And we looked at it and we saw a million people. Mermaid Parade. Mermaid Parade, Parade under... man. That was it, baby. That was it. I said, I'm going to be part of that one day. There was a guy all dressed up. There he is, right here, the mayor. Okay. The mayor. So like me, you went out and bought a costume. Exactly. And I... immediately you were something. Right, I became a character. See, that's where I got it from him. Yeah. He's, he's a, the mayor of New York City. So anyway, I became a character myself. Anybody can bring a sound system but I want it to be more theatrical. So now, but with that being said, I am now the Minister of Propaganda and my son is now the Commander-in-Chief. Uh, talking about propagandists, are you familiar with Pink Velvet Clown? Have you two even met? No, not yet. How's it going? Self-identify from How each other nice and dance. Hey. <laughs> How are you doing? Doing great. Okay, I'm glad you're here. Wow. Enjoying uh, Queer Pride in Coney Island. Oh, Miss Thing, I didn't know it was you. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I'm waiting. Like, <laughs> I'm waiting. That voice just came to me. I know. <laughs> right? Remember me? I was the night watchman. Ooh, girl, right? please. <laughs> wow. This was our glorious sound man for Freak oh, yeah, Show at the Freak Show. Oh, my God. Your eyes look lovely. Diabolical <laughs> night So let's watchman. take turns. I introduce you to somebody. You introduce us to somebody. All right, well, Who let me bring you Miss Desiree, Miss Pina, Pina Colada, Colada from Coney Island. Hi. Come on over here, Des. Let me get a good look Hi. at you. Are Hi. you a dancer? I'm part of them. Yeah. <laughs> She's in uniform. <laughs> and how do you identify? I'm a B-C-T-H-I. Forget all that. I'm it's the boss lady. Bitch <laughs> yeah. boss She's lady. the boss lady. Okay. Oh, my God, this is great. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dick Zing, and your your inspiration. Like, when are we turning on the music? Could you come back at about 3 p.m., 3.30? Happy Pride, Coney Island! I am Pink Velvet Witch. I identify as they, she. I am a curator here at Coney Island, USA, Music of Curiosities. And I'm also the outside talker here when we're open. Unfortunately, this summer, we're doing business a little bit differently. I'm very proud to work in Coney Island. I feel as a trans person, I am supported. I feel like my art is encouraged. And uh, I feel like I have a happy queer family here in Coney Island. And um, black lives matter. And more than that, black trans lives matter.
shout out to Dr. Leo Woolman. He was the house doctor at Steeplechase Park. Took care of the freaks. Dr. Leo Woolman performed the world's first sex change operation. Dr. Leo Woolman, shout out! <laughs> shout out to Albert Alberta, the sideshow half man, half woman, who worked in our own landmark 1917 building uh, when it was David Rosen's. Wonderland Circus Sideshow. Albert Alberto also wore Hubert's Museum, 42nd Street. Shout out to Albert Alberto. <laughs> Shout out to the bathhouse culture at Coney Island. There were 30 different private bathhouses. Some of them were definitely gay. Uh, Ruby from uh, Ruby's Bar around the boardwalk, he and his brother Phil ran Stouch's Bath on Stillwell Avenue. Shout out to Bathhouse Culture. Woo! Shout out to Baby D, a transgender performer at the Coney Island Circus Sideshow, um, who has this huge harp and has appeared as a musician and sideshow performer all over uh, the East Coast in California. Shout out to Baby D. <laughs> Shout out to the bearded woman, Jennifer Miller, who performed for many years in the Coney Island Circus Sideshow, is Zenobia, the woman with a beard, and who now runs Circus Amok. Shout out to Jennifer Miller. <laughs> Shout out, shout out to the founder of the Coney Island Polar Bear Club, Bernard McFadden, who not only was a health enthusiast, the founder of the Polar Bear Club, he also was the editor of Sexology Magazine, and he was the inventor of the penis pump. Shout out to Bernard McFadden. Shout out to Ward Hall, the late great Ward Hall sideshow legend. Uh, Ward Hall started his career performing a very gay ventriloquist act. Um, a wonderful sideshow performer. We miss you, Ward. Shout out to Ward Hall. Shout out to Lenore Duval, better known in Coney Island as Tirza of Tirza's Wine Bath. Tirza's Wine Bath, without question, was the bawdiest, raunchiest, and most wonderful uh, hoochie coochie joint in New York City in the 1940s and the 1950s. Um, Tirza, after she was shut down by the law in New York City, toward the country. She was known as a he, she, when he, she meant that she dated both he's and she's. Uh, she was bisexual. She was wonderful. Shout out to Tears of We're doing a video about pride in Coney Island. Do you want to say anything about Coney Island? Too bad there's not nothing happening this year, but thank God Regan is doing what he has to do, and it's just awesome to be out here. So what does Coney Island dance do? What do we do? We dance and we bring the attraction in. We bring the attraction. Coney Island dances, we bring the attraction to Coney Island. We just love to dance. It's like, it's, just, it's, just, it's in our spirit. It's all positive energy and nothing but good vibes. And that's all I got to say. Just one thing. Let me take this opportunity here to want to give uh, my friend Dick Diggin my patches. You earned your patches for the Coney Island dancers, sir. Here you go. There's a big one for the for the Mac. This one goes on your left, on your leather vest. Okay? Congratulations. You want to introduce the DJ? Sure, we're definitely going to introduce the DJ. You can even talk to the DJ. He's a good guy. Let's give it up for DJ Evan Scott, who came out here with his brand new equipment that he purchased. Just so we can have some type of normalcy here in Coney Island. 
I want to thank Evans, my brother Evans over here. Hi, Evans. Say hello. Another supporter, he bought me 15 boxes of um, potato chips, Oreo cookies, and we gave them to the children all for free here in Coney Island. And the party is just starting, so... Um, all summer long, how long All summer long. I'll be out here every Saturday, Sunday, right here in the Bowery. From 3 p.m. to about 8 p.m., 9 p.m., depending on how the crowd is behaving, because I will shut it down. It's a social distancing event here in Coney Island. We're the only show in town with Dick Ziggins. Why do you do this? Why do I do this? Oh, my God. i tell you one thing. I, I started out as a money-hungry person, but it's not in my soul. I'm, I happen to have, have a good soul, even though with my ghetto -ness and I walk with my hat backwards, and I pop when I walk, and I cuss like a sailor. But deep down, I'm a good man. Step off, man. You got too close to me. <laughs> I don't have the mic on. I have the mask on. I don't want to Anyway, so I, I started I started um, 2008 and became a community board member for a couple of years. I had a community service program out here, and um, this is it. This is what we're going to do here in the Bowery for the summer for 2020 until further notice. Thank you so much. Thank you. So let's... Thank you for uh, you know say that I'm from uh, this community here in Coney Island and this is not just an amusement park. There's a community back there, you know, the NYCHA building, children, elderly, and um, I want to thank um, Anthony and Barry for um, allowing me to do this here. And um, you know, it's, a, it's a 2020. I'm never gonna forget this. I never thought that I would be in the Bowery. No, we can't even go in the warm up, but you know, one day at a time we'll be back next year. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That's a wrap this week. Enjoy your Friday. Enjoy Pride Month. And I'll see you next week. The mayor is in the house. The mayor of Coney Island. Salute!